Jess, our moms raised us, they loved us, they taught us how to be smart, independent women. However, are we going to repay them? Um, I guess the best thing we can do is give them all the free books they want. Yeah, actually that is totally even. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hey readers, I'm not Emma, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm Jess. And I'm Abby. And today we're bringing you books that are perfect for moms everywhere. Whether you're a new mom or a grandmother or you just love to read compelling stories about moms, these six books are great reads for you this month and beyond. So my first pick is Natalie Tan's Book of Luck and Fortune by Roselle Lim. This debut is seriously delicious. It is the perfect fiction for all foodies out there. It centers on a young woman named Natalie Tan who returns home after seven years when she learns about her mother's death. Her mother and her unfortunately had a falling out because her mom would not support her dreams of becoming a chef. So she's shocked when she learns that she inherits her grandmother's restaurant in Chinatown. And it's at this restaurant that she really explores her family's rich history and her mom's own past and makes friendships that will change her forever. This is just a heartwarming novel about a complex mother-daughter relationship that's real and relatable and perfect for every mom out there. My first pick is Dear Ayajawele, or A Feminist Manifesto in 15 Suggestions by Chimamanda Nyagozi Adichie. This is my standard gift for any new baby and any new mom. This tiny slim volume grew out of a letter that Chimamanda received from a childhood friend asking her, how can I raise a feminist? <laughs> so in 15 points, Chimamanda Nyagozi Adichie really shows us how to be a woman today. She says, teach your daughter self-reliance, teach her to love books, give her a sense of identity. And so these 15 suggestions form a lovely and loving way to raise a daughter. And it fits in the purse. <laughs> My second pick is Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. We all know Trevor Noah from The Daily Show and we love him. We really love him. <laughs> Seriously. But we all have to wonder, how did he get to be where he is today? Trevor Noah was born in apartheid South Africa and was literally born a crime. His father was white and his mother was black and that was a criminal offense. So he spent most of his time as a child indoors to protect himself and his family from persecution. This is his story about trying to exist in a world that deemed him unworthy. And this is also his story about his fearless and devoted mother who would have done anything to protect her son from danger. Unconditional motherly love is woven throughout this entire story, making it a must read for mothers everywhere. And we love the audiobook because Trevor Noah reads it himself. And what could be better than that? My second pick is Black is the Body stories of my grandmother's time, my mother's time, and mine by Dr. Emily Bernard. This book is a series of 12 interconnected personal essays that looks at Emily Bernard's upbringing and her relation to race as a black woman. She starts with her childhood in the South, growing up black with a white man's last name, all the way through getting her PhD at Yale and experiencing an act of violence that made her see her race in a different way. This is what she uses as a jumping off point to really talk about race in America today. And she looks at her grandmother's stories, her mother's stories, and her own, and weaves it into this incredibly moving memoir. This extraordinary, fearless memoir told through these essays looks at race in a penetrating and moving way that is impossible to ignore. My third and last pick is Pure Skin by Victoria Tsai. Skincare is self-care, and a lot of confidence issues can stem from skin conditions, but oftentimes these problems are ignored because a lot of women and a lot of moms don't have the time or resources to figure out what products work best for them. 
I worked as a skincare consultant for three years. Tatcha was personally one of my favorite brands because the bottles are gorgeous, the ingredients are high quality and it's all effective because it's rooted in generations old Japanese traditions. So give your mom the gift of a glow. She'll be happy from the inside out. My third pick is Nanaville Adventures in Grandparenting by Anna Quinlan. Now, Anna Quinlan writes with such wit and humor about all aspects of life. And now she's a new grandmother. So this book is no different than some of her other great meditations on family life, except she's navigating grandparenthood for the very first time. This is funny and will touch your heart in equal measure, and I just love anything that Anna Quinlan writes. Oh, I hate that question. What's your one favorite book? Why is that? Because it's like trying to pick your favorite child. I love them all equally. That's what all mothers say. And there you have it, readers. If you think we missed a book, let us know in the comments or tweet at us at Read It Forward. And for even more great book recommendations sent straight to your inbox, sign up for our weekly newsletter at readitforward.com slash subscribe.